Ba 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 da 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 da. Welcome to Fifty Great Short Stories. And do say ah, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, not in the script yet. All right, let's get this started. Fifty Great Short Stories, and I have to say, this is incredible. All right, firstly, I have to say that today's story is just a pretty short one. It's called The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse. And yes, I have prepared some content. Again? You have to do say ah. <laughs> Thank you. Come some nila. And okay, so anyways, back to the story itself. So basically, it's basically about this horse. It's like a white horse. It has these teeth. And like this, 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 this. Exactly because it's really unique too. So with all that happening, this actually works out really well. So for six months, this horse has been stolen. And you know who stole it? The main character and his cousin. And they say we're not stealing. We're borrowing. And they're like. What? We're just returning him. And then they lost him. Oh no! It took them half an hour to find him. Oh thank God! And also, uh, apparently the cousin has been has been riding this darn horse for a while already. And as far as the main character is concerned, all right. So as far as I know, is that we started this morning, pretty much. All right. That happens. And he realized. All right, we can keep him for a year, right? No, we have to keep him for at least six months. How dare you say we're stealing? So we're stealing now, right? We are you? Okay. We're stealing right now, aren't we? No. We're borrowing him. One year equals stealing. Six months is like borrowing. Okay, can we just keep it until you, I ride? Until I, until I learn to ride? It'll take you a year. So can we keep him a year? No. Fine. So then that happens. And they go ahead and start talking throughout the whole summer. Riding this darn horse. Doing things with him. And then... Basically, they ran into the farmer of the or farmer who is the original owner of this guy. He's like, "Huh, suspicious, you guys. Hey, you know what? I think you guys are going to actually not like this at all, because you guys know what time it is, right? Come on. All right. I would say that you stole my horse, but your parents are very honest, and I know you guys have been honest. You've been honest like a million times before. So, this horse must be my twin. My horse's twin. Good, good choice, ma'am." Alright, see ya, toodaloo. That was close. Alright, and then a few days later, they returned the horse like, Finally, he's back! And he, for some reason, he's way better at control and everything. I feel like I feel like I should actually thank the people who stole him. And that's pretty much it for today's story. So what is the story going to be about anyway? So apparently, William Arionka, he himself is actually pretty much done a lot of things. In fact, uh, he's an old guy. He died on May 18th of 1981. Yeah, sometime then. And basically, with all that happening, we actually find out a lot about him in this story, too. His short story got him a Pulitzer Prize also. Not this short story. He got the Pulitzer in 1940. And to be honest, I think this guy is just having a very great time and having an awesome time by just writing these short stories. And having morals in them, too. And so, of course, until next time, snan out, peace, and please wear a helmet. Unlike this dude who does not wear a helmet and does not listen to me at all. He makes his own decisions and only sometimes listens to me. And that's only when he decides to. Not when he's forced to, like now. <laughs> yeah, sorry about this quad. I'll just see you guys soon. And so, until next time, snan out. Peace. Okay. Bye-bye. Now I'm gonna go eat some gym wrap. You go. You go. I'm, I'm gonna feed you some eggs. See ya. Oh my. Ah, 그래요? 없어서 나못 봤어.